Molten Core has been out for about six hours, <laughs> get it and poor, and I think it is now time to actually take a look at the data, because after six hours it is pretty safe to assume that uh, most people are done with progression, some splits in my guild are still trying for it, I am going on Saturday, thank god, but anyway, let's take a look at this, I am now present at Warcraft Logs, taking a look at all the entries in Molten Core, mandatory disclaimer, of course, not every single raid is gonna be here in the logs, of course, a lot of people, most people are logging, all it takes is one person out of the 20 people to log it, and it's here, but of course, some raids are not gonna be here, anyway, we can take a look at how many people are doing things, and this is probably the most crazy out of them all, this is hit level 3, Hit level 3 is the hardest difficulty in Molten Core, it is literally one shot in tanks, uh, Lucifron was uh, I think almost unkillable until they did a hotfix nerf today because he was doing stuff he wasn't supposed to and his ads were immune to a lot of things they weren't supposed to so you couldn't see them or anything. But yes, this is gonna be like the hardest progression, most guilds I think at the time I am recording this only 3 guilds completed the whole thing entirely by now which is pretty crazy, obviously. Actually, I can know how many people did, did the entire raid in hit level 3. So yeah, guys, like the secret boss of Molten Core, I'm gonna spoil it for you at this point, is like so disappointing. It's just a freaking ball of fire. Molten Core the raid, this is literally a Molten Core. Oh my god, dude, like even, even another Fire Salamander would have been uh, be better than this. Like, what the heck are they... Uh, whatever, so yeah, you're fighting a ball of fire, and according to Warcraft logs, the totality of... Two guilds killed this boss in hit level 3. None of the above, of course, they are from, from EU, these people. And B-Tribe, I got no idea who these people are, actually. They are also for EU. I guess that's why. So not a single NA guild has yet cleared it. You can imagine that means this is pretty freaking hard. But I want to do something else, okay? I want to speculate how many people are actually doing the raid. Now, the funny part is that there's only, let's see, 2, 6, 8... 10, 11 guilds that killed Baron Gedon, and once you go to Sulfuron Harbinger, uh, which is also one shot in tanks apparently, you go down to the same two guilds. People are really mad, I am not very mad, okay? I, I think this is a good compromise. If it were up to me, I would have never put a harder difficulty on Molten Core, but if you're gonna do this system, I think you gotta make it super hard, what's the point? If if it's gonna be like about as easy as hit level 2, nobody's gonna do hit level 2. So yeah, at least the, the hardcore raiders are gonna have something fun to do for a week, you know? Of course, they are gonna nerf the bosses to hell in two weeks. Uh, it's not that I can tell the future, they just do this every phase. There is a lot of limitations in Molten Core that are exacerbating this problem. First of all, it turns out that you're gonna need 226 resistance buffed to even survive the one-shot mechanic in Molten Core. The way they face the fire resistance mechanic, and I'm probably gonna have to make another fire resistance video to talk about that one, is that if you don't have a certain amount of fire resistance in each hit level, you're gonna get literally one-shot, anybody in the raid. And the Molten Core is 226. Of course, if you have 226 resistance buffed, that means you get a sacrifice like at least four pieces of gear, probably more. And you can imagine, trying to clear bosses that are harder than hit level 2 at the same time with four less pieces of gear, that's where the challenge comes from. Which also, for all the doomers in the chat, is gonna make it a lot easier to, to fix over time, because remember, all tier 1 sets have a lot of fire resistance on them, so even if you're not the greatest player ever and you're not like a super tryhard, as long as you keep farming hit level 2, hit level 1, you're gonna keep getting tier 1 pieces, and you're gonna eventually have a lot of fire resistance with actual good stats, so you're not gonna be sacrificing uh, actual pieces of gear for fire resistance, and this whole thing is gonna even out very soon. Would I have done this mechanic in this exact way? Probably not, but I, I, I honestly, I think this is fine. I, I don't think this is like glaringly stupid. I don't think this is game breaking, face ruining stupid. I'm gonna do Molten Core in two days and maybe I will find something that is glaringly stupid, but on the face value of it, uh, just putting a lot of resistance in, in hit tree, I don't think that's a big deal. So now we are gonna take a look at something way more important, and that is how many people are actually doing Molten Core and launch. Of course, remember guys, this is six hours after the raid came out, a lot of people, including me, are not gonna do it today, the, everybody has a different raiding schedule, but this should be a very, a very good uh, indication of how many people are hyped enough to come back and try it out. So let's see, with the, with the help of F3 and looking for this word right here, uh, it turns out that there is 100 people, 100 logs, actually 100 raids, 
uh, in every page. Now there is two pages and yeah, okay, there is 82, 182 rates. Now if we take 182 rates and we multiply it by 20, keep in mind guys that this is very counterintuitive. The actual average amount of raiders per molten core it's gonna be over 20 because if you're in progression for six hours, you're gonna be swapping people. It's inevitable that some people are gonna leave and you're gonna have to swap them out because the time. So yeah, these numbers is gonna be a little on the low side. And the answer we got is 3,640. I don't think that's bad at all. You also gotta keep in mind guys that a lot of the people didn't finish the raid yet. And if a lot of people didn't finish the raid yet because they are still on progression right now as we speak because it's only been six hours, that also means that uh, the logs are not posted yet. If we were to say there is like 12 hours of peak time and, and this raid, that's 182 every six hours. So 12 hours is going to be times two and we gotta give it seven days of course the numbers are gonna be very skewed uh, this is just a gross estimation here we're gonna see the actual staying power of the phase two because like if it turns out that everybody does molten core today and likes it uh, maybe this number is gonna go up if everybody does molten core today and like they say no it's not worth it a lot of people are not gonna come at the tomorrow to try it out whoever was kind of supposed to come but at these rates just to give an estimation we got 50,000 people which is definitely at least twice as much as sunken temple but this shows a very clear decline now i don't want to doom for no reason this time i really want to see molten core before i complain and probably i will complain like you guys know me who am who are we kidding here but yeah let's see how many people are doing this uh ne next week we're gonna probably do a video about like the actual full numbers but these numbers do strike me as a little low maybe if we gotta do a little copium here uh, we perhaps can say that there is the old raid okay people with alts are gonna be doing the raid like later this week and there is also fire resistance requirements that's something that multi that sunken depot didn't have and a lot of people are probably like delaying the raid just because they think they don't have the fire resistance to do it so who knows thankfully i'm gonna be doing the raid on saturday subscribe by the way and hopefully they are gonna hot fix lucifron so he's gonna, he's gonna stop one shot in the tank because that would be pretty cool subscribe join the discord and thank you for watching